Here are 12 little known facts about Guy Fawkes Knight. 1. Guy Fawkes wasn't actually the ringleader of the plot to blow up the House of Lords, he was just one of a group of 13 men. The leader was one Robert Catesby. 2. November 5th was initially known as Gunpowder Treason Day and bonfires were lit as a celebration that the king hadn't been killed. 3. The tradition of burning an effigy of Guy Fawkes on a bonfire didn't start until around the 18th century when reports appeared of kids carrying stuffed figures around and begging for money with them. 4. Following his capture Guy Fawkes was sent to the Tower of London where he endured two days of torture before he finally confessed and gave up the names of his co-plotters. 5. Until the mid-19th century the day was often full of violence in towns such as Lewis, which still has a famous celebration every year on the 5th, where often the scenes of bitter fighting. 6. The group were probably betrayed by a traitor, who wrote anonymously to one of the lords warning him not to go into the house that day, therefore prompting the search in the cellars. 7. Guy Fawkes and his fellow plotters were sentenced to death by being hung, drawn and quartered on January 31, 1606. 8. However this still chopped him up into quarters and sent his body off to the four corners of the kingdom as a warning to any other plotters. 9. Even today the yeomen of the guard still check the cellars underneath the Houses of Parliament every year before the state opening of Parliament, just in case. 10. Despite being one of the biggest anti-Protestant figures in British history Fox was actually born a Protestant. 11. Fox attended St. Peter's School in New York. 12. Some believe that the setting off of fireworks has its roots in a much older, possibly.